Hi guys, very quick video today. We're going to be taking our first look at the Teams mobile app. And first of all, we're going to check out Do Not Disturb mode, uh, which is separate to Do Not Disturb on the iPhone. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to set your quiet hours, quiet days, and it can be really useful if you use your work phone as your main phone, because you don't want to turn everything off, but you can just turn off Teams. My name's Gavin Jones, and in my day job, I work for a Fortune 500 company, uh, looking after Teams rollout, and we've trained over 100 people on Teams so far, in-person training, and following up with tips like these to get people more into it. So hopefully you'll find these tips useful as well. We've got a new Teams video coming out every Tuesday, so remember to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video on YouTube. So without further ado, let's take a look at Teams mobile app and do not disturb. Okay, so let's take a look at the mobile app now. So if I swipe up, I can see I've got do not disturb in my control center. If I long press on it, I can turn do not disturb on for an hour until tomorrow morning, tell the location. I had a meeting in right now, it would show me that I can turn it off, do not disturb on until the end of the meeting, or I can set the schedule. So that's gonna turn off notifications for everything on my phone, um, apart from you can set it so people can still get through. They're important to you if you wanna make a call. But what if my phone is my work phone? I don't wanna turn everything off all the time. So Teams has got a nice little way of doing that. So if we jump into the Teams app, hit the slide over menu and then click on notifications. See, uh, Teams have got a thing called quiet hours. So I don't have that on because I've got a separate personal phone from my work phone. But if you've got your work phone and your personal phone combined, this might be really useful. So if you click on quiet hours, you can turn on scheduled daily quiet hours. So from seven at night till seven in the morning here, and also you can turn on quiet days if you want, so no Teams notifications on Saturdays and Sundays. If you come back out, then it's worth reviewing your normal notification settings. So when you're active on desktop, you'll get your uh, phone pinged. You can turn that to always if you wanted to. And then you've got app specific uh, notifications for your phone. So you can turn off notifications for chats if you wanted to, if you only want to look at those on your laptop, um, likes and reactions turned off by default, um, but loads and loads of stuff you can um, customize to make sure you're not getting notified about stuff that you don't want, um, especially at times when you want to use your work phone for personal stuff and you don't want to turn everything off through the iOS do not disturb mode. So if you'd like to see more stuff on the Teams mobile app, then type mobile in the comments below uh, just to give us an indication about how many people want to see something more about the mobile app. And remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends if they are suffering from some of the same challenges as we've seen in this video. We've got new videos coming out every Tuesday and let us know, is this Do Not Disturb useful on your mobile? Do you use your work phone for personal or mobile stuff? Are you gonna use uh, quiet hours in Teams on your mobile app? Let us know in the quiz above. And finally, at me time, we think your time is really important. So we've developed an app that will help you run your meetings better, whether online or in person. If you're interested in that, check it out at metimeapps.com. There's a link in the comments below, and we really appreciate you visiting our website to check it out. So thanks for your attention so far, and we'll see you in the next video.